Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, we're going through new features in our Floriani software. And this week we're going to talk about presets. But before we go there, I want to show you where else you have options to learn about the software. If there's something I haven't gotten to yet and you're desperate, let me just show you. I'm going to go into my Floriani Club. Now remember, this club is exclusive to Floriani owners. Uh, the only way you can get into all of these free designs, the only way you can get into our, all of our support things is by going through here. And for some reason, my my uh, my my login just disappeared. Oh, thank goodness! Because of course, you think I'd remember my password? I wouldn't. So if you notice, when we go into the club, notice here, this is giving us, we've got software lessons blogs, our monthly downloads. If you want to get your new Floriani free designs, click here. You can go watch old webinars. You can watch the training videos, software lessons. You get it. Now, if I click on any of these, what it's going to actually tell me, if I want to look at software lessons, it's going to tell me right away, I need to check into the club. So it's telling you uh, this page is for exclusive for my club members. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into the club. Yes, I'm just so glad that was my correct name and password. So now that I have signed into the club, you're going to see you've got lots of where you can go into training videos, webinars, all these things. But I want you to notice up at the top it says FTCU Update History. If I left mouse click on that and I go in here, now the last update we have, the version you want to be at is 3230. I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to do now is it's going to give me um, the ability to go watch videos on Font Play, Font Manager. Everything we added to the latest is here. And these videos are done by DJ Anderson. Now remember, DJ is who thinks up a lot of this stuff. DJ works with Walt, but let me tell you, DJ is amazing. So he thinks of these things. And so when you get to, when you see these, um, these, uh, these videos by him, they're actually DJ who th thinks them up. So we're going to talk about presets this week. But if I hadn't talked about them, you could click here and you could watch DJ tell you about everything that's new in this latest update. I'm telling you, we've got all kinds of, look at all this stuff. And we're going through them in our weekly videos, but I just wanted to show you where else you can go for help. So I'm going to close this now because I don't need this up because we are going to talk about presets. Now, DJ had added this feature before up here that we could set presets for these stitches. They were all set up here. Now, we've also added them at the bottom. Excuse me, let me get my computer to quit going crazy here. Let me bring this down just a little. Make sure you've got a full video screen here. Yes. All of these down here, you can see that they now have the little drop down arrow so you can do presets for everything. Now why it's important is a lot of times we do the same um, formula over and over to a stitch. For example, I'm going to bring in a piece of artwork and it doesn't matter what piece I bring in, but this is just artwork. Now with this being artwork, you, we know I can turn it, now notice all of these icons are available. I can turn it into anything I want by selecting any of these stitches. But let's just go simple. I'm just going to click on Run. Now notice, a single run stitch by default is 2.5 millimeters in stitch length. And if we look at the commands, this has a basic tie-in, a basic tie-off. It's all ready, it's done and I can apply that and that is what this is. But now what if a lot of times I like to do a double run when I do something and I'm going to come down to my preset and I'm going to click on this down arrow and notice right now in my presets I have two. I have red work lettering 
which I'm going to click on just so you can see what it does. When I click on red work lettering, notice this all changes right now. It's a bean stitch with five repeats. My stitch length is 3.0. So now I can apply that to it and I've already done it. I didn't have to go change all my boxes again. I come down here. I like a lot of times a double run with a 3.0. So I can click on that. Notice everything's done already. So if you've got stitches that you use a like or you lot, uh, you you um, use a lot, you can go ahead and do these, and and you can set this up for a lot of things. So let's come over here, and I'm going to show you something specific down here. This is my auto stipple. Now I've removed all most all of my presets out of here, so we could play with this a little bit. Now I'm going to hit my drop down, and I'm going to say I want my auto stipple at a 6 density. Okay, that's what I want. Notice it changed right there. That is my density at 6, my stitch length at 3, and that's what it would have done in that shape. So now, with auto stippling, a lot of times, and I'm going to close this down, notice I used from last week's, we talked about all of our transform block, and I just deleted that, just clicked it off of the screen. Let me come in here and do this. I'm going to bring in and I'm going to make a box. Okay, and I'm going to make this and I'm going to come to transform and I'm going to make this an 8 by 8 inch square. And I'm going to apply. Now I'm going to fit that to screen. Maybe. To fit. There it is. And I'm going to come down to my stipple. Now I'm just going to hit auto stipple like we would prior to having presets. So I'm going to click on it and now we're going to do the do 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 because it's going to take a little while to put that stipple in that 8 by 8 inch block because this is going to be micro stippling. It's going to have a very small density. So it takes a little bit to configure that for such a large area. Now this is 2.5 millimeters. I, can you give me a break? This is super micro stippling. My stitch length is longer than my stitch density. So we don't use this a whole lot. So what I do in my presets is I go down and I would pick six. And see, I've already set up one that has a six density. And that way, had I done that to start with, it would have done much quicker because, number one, it was a larger density. But different projects require a different density of stippling. So you can go in there and put one at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do your different densities. Then when you create a block, now let's change this. This is at 6. Let's say I wanted a 9 density in here. So I'm going to apply that. Do I like the look? Yes, I do. Ooh, I want to automatically close that stipple so I don't have two ends. Well, that looks great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this little drop-down box, this little arrow, and I'm going to say, save this preset, and I'm going to put 9, because that's my 9 density. OK. So now that is saved. So let's go ahead and do one for a, yeah, let's do a 7. Let's apply the 7. There, 7 has been applied. Let's go ahead, drop my box down, save preset, Let's set this one at 7. You get the idea. So now we can go ahead and set this for all different types of densities. So let's come over here again. Let's grab an artwork box. Let's go ahead and do the same thing we did a moment ago. Let's make this an 8 by 8. Let's apply that. Let's fit that to screen. And let's now come to our box. I want this to be a 9. So now I've done it one time. I don't have to change everything up here. Put the stipple in at 2.5. Then come back and change all my settings in there to go to the 9 density. I can just pick the density I want and let it configure it. Now it's configuring it with the end closed, everything. So there I go with my 9. You have these presets for everything. For every single one of these that you want to do, you can do a preset. How close you want it, how far you want it. 
let's do, um, let's close this down. Let me do, and I haven't tried this, so I should probably shouldn't try it on the video, but you know me. We're going to try it on the video first. Okay, and if, it, and if it doesn't work, what I do is I stop the video and I start over. Okay, here's a circle. Now with this circle, I don't know if I can do a contour satin with this, but we're going to try. Nope, I can't. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see. Let's put in our angle line. No, well, it did kind of do it. That's pretty cool, actually. Now, here's the problem. I told it to contour this circle. I gave it the angle, but here's my problem. My density is one millimeter. Heck, your needle is bigger than that. So what if I wanted to put this, say, at, um, let's put it at, mm, I don't know, let's try a, I don't know, let's try nine. Let's just try that. I don't even know. We're going to try. See, oh, that looks pretty cool now, doesn't it? That looks awesome. So now that I've done this and I've applied it, we like it. I'm going to apply. We're good. We're happy. I could go ahead and come in there and save just like I wanted. So you get the idea that you can do stuff. You can have all kinds of fun in here. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Okay, so now we're good. I am going to come in here and I'm going to save that preset. And I'm just going to save this at a 9. That's a 9 density on that. That, that was pretty cool. And that was using my contour satin. So it doesn't matter what you're setting up. You can set up anything and you can save the presets. Now, if we had one that we did, let's change this to say a 3. Let's, let's just change this to 3 and apply it. And let's say I really don't like that because I already know that's going to stitch out pretty horrendous. Okay, let's, let's get off of here. Let's um, go ahead and select away. That's going to be really tight and really small. I can already tell you it's not going to stitch out pretty. So I could, but we're going to go ahead and pretend we thought it would. And I'm going to save this preset. And I'm going to call it three. And then I'm going to realize, I'm going to go and stitch it out and realize it's stitched hideous. So I don't ever want that preset in there again. So I'm going to come in here and I can remove presets. So if you've got something you don't like, you can come in here and I'm going to remove this preset. Okay. So I can get rid of things that didn't work for me as well. But this gives you the opportunity in all of these to go in there, play, save, have a good time with these different things and save the stuff you like. Because then you, number one, you don't have to do it again. If you stitched out something bad, you'll never make that mistake again because you'll remove that preset. Now here is something else that we have that I think is phenomenal with these presets. So you get it. You can go down and do all of these presets the same. Your anything you're using, you can put presets on now. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. Now I can also go to tools here and I want you to know that I can export and import presets. So let's say you've got a lot of presets um, that you've done for a run stitch or whatever and you've got a girlfriend that doesn't quite understand or you just want to give it to your friend because you found some cool presets. You can export those presets, put them on a jump drive and give them to her. She can import them and now she's got all those presets. And I'll tell you a little um, thing. If you're coming to one of my seminars, Kathy Quinn, if you come to one of my seminars and let me know and I will be ha happy to send you some des presets that are my favorite presets. So by having my favorite presets, I don't mind sending you the things that I like in a run stitch, the things I like in a satin. I can send you some of my presets too. This is a great tool to have. It makes doing things so quick when you want to do a lot of stuff. What I just did is I just did, I just created, um, did a bunch of coasters, mug rugs. And what I did is I came in here and I got my custom shape, which was a circle. I transformed it and I made it, um, I actually did it six by six six inches by six inches, apply, 
Then I came in here to my designs. I went to my library first. I came to my Floriani Designs collections. And I went down into our new Forever Tattoo. Where is my Forever Tattoo? Well, Backyard Birds. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. And if you're working with these, always bring in a WAF design. I know we have them in all of the, all your formats. But if you're going to do something or change it or play with it in here, please bring it in first as WAF because that is an information file and then you're going to be able to do a lot more with it. Then save it to the format for your machine. So let's come in here and pick out one of these. We've got, these are, this is a really, really fun card. Oh, here, let's take this lily. So I brought my lily out. Now I took the lily. I went ahead and held down my control key and selected my circle. I came up to my align. And I center centered to make sure my lily was centered in there. Then with that lily selected again, just the lily, I came and I said I want you to create an outline. And I made it where it's just about an eighth of an inch away. And I only want one. So it's going to create that outline around my lily. So now what I have, let me close this down real quick. What I have now is I've got this piece of artwork. Holding my control key, I'm going to select this piece of artwork. And now I'm going to combine them. Okay, so I've combined that artwork. What did that do for me? Let me show you by putting my properties box back up. If I tell this to fill it, you're going to see what I did. I just made this area available to do something to. Well, what I did is I stippled around them to make these mug rugs in the hoop. So I'm going to come down to my stipple presets and I did it at six. So now I could do these. I turned them out like clockwork, one after the other, quick like a bunny. Because I already had the preset in there. So you can do a quilt or have something going, have your preset set. And let's say you're doing Katie's quilt. And you've got it at a certain setting and everything. You could put in your preset Katie's quilt. So you'd know as you continued to work on it to just pull that up and all your settings are there. And it, that goes true for every single uh, one of these down here. You know, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do backwards of what I did. I'm going to copy and paste. What I did is I actually did the circle copy and pasted, but since I'm going backwards, see how that does it. So that's what I did. Uh, I had a, an, an edge around it so I would know where to finish to cut it out and everything. So I had done these. Um, I did a set of them as rug mugs. They're really cute. Put some chenille on them. It was a wonderful little quick project until I washed them. And that's, that's more of a story I'll tell you next week. Well, I look forward to seeing you next week. I look forward to talking about our next exciting feature. And next week, I think I'm going to talk about the Floriani cat. So I look forward to seeing you. I hope you have a great week. Good night.